While we've got you here, Rob, I have to mention, um, just mention it, Anthony Joshua there, look back, looking back on Saudi, December the 7th. How are you reflecting on that? Because things just fell into place for you guys. You came under a bit of criticism in the first fight, both you and AJ did. Yeah, um, yeah, well, we did the rematch on the, on the Sunday in New York. With less than 24 hours after Eddie called me up, I was walking through New York, New York going on the way to where AJ was staying, obviously, you know, massively disappointed for him. But yeah, the, we would set the wheels in motion less than 24 hours after the fight. Um, he wanted to do it straight away. Um, we felt if, um, if he got it right, he'd beat Ruiz. Um, but Ruiz is dangerous and at mid to short range, he's, he's really dangerous and quick. Um, and yeah, he, I thought he did really well in the rematch. He, he trained diligently, he stuck to the tactics and I thought he boxed great. He did, he did box extremely well. Um, we talk about the criticism there. Are you someone that reads it? Do you take it on board or do you just completely blank it out and, and don't listen to it? Because it must, be, it must be hard. So, so Especially with someone like Anthony Joshua because it is everywhere. Yeah. So, so I haven't really spoke about it, but I will do now. So what, uh, I don't care less. Um, the type of people that will go on the internet and people that are in the sport as well that know better and will try and criticise you and you know call you a, 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 call him a bad boxer or me a bad coach it's just laughable I mean look at what he's achieved and, and I've helped boxers to achieve stuff at world level for a n number of years so it's just it's just a bit sad that people are that you know they want to go on and you know put the boot in on Big Josh or you know I was getting phone calls from my mates and People I know saying, oh, they've just said this is us. I said, what are you worried about? But then when my daughters <laughs> called me up, who really didn't like it and it really bothered them, that's when I started to think, you know, um, people from, not people from the outside fans, sports fans, they've got an opinion. It's, you know, your football team wins or lose, your career. But, you know, people who are in the sport to, to be saying some of the stuff they were saying, come on, you know, it's just like, that would, I would never do that. I would never talk about somebody... Who's, who's had a bad experience or he hasn't gone well and, and then try and criticise them straight away without knowing any of the facts or anything that was going on. It's just, it's just a shame that people are like that, but it is what it is. But I don't look at it or read it. I never have done. Even, you know, I, I know the deal. I know the deal. You know, if, if, if the boxer's winning, in Josh's case, he's winning, he's great. And then, you know, if ever there's a poor performance or there's a bad one, you have people that want to criticise the coach or the, or the coach, but one thing you'll never see me do is do that because it's just not what it is. It's not, it's not real and it's not what it is, but it's just it happens, unfortunately, and I don't know. I but don't know. That's probably why your relationship with Anthony Joshua is so special because you do have that bond and you have been together for so long. Yeah, and, you know, he's, I've seen him come from, you know, being... I watched him in the ABA Championships, Finch Lee, Sean Murphy, they did a great job with him, fantastic job with him. And then we brought him onto the programme and his belief was, was unbelievable. He, he wanted to go to everything and, it, we, you know, he started to do well and it was like, oh, this kid's really got something. Because I was thinking originally Rio, not London, but he really pushed on really quickly. But I just think all boxers over... It's a really hard sport, boxing's so difficult and... I think that people who are in the sport, you know, know what it's like, know how difficult it is. So to just, you know, um, criticise fighters who are, who are trying to change their lives and be a positive role model, I think, you know, you, you, can, you can assess a performance, but I think the, the, the personal criticism is, is, is just, you've got to look at yourself in the mirror. And if you're one of those that's jumping on the internet to criticise everyone every time there's a fight, it's a bit sad. So what's the next step for Anthony Joshua? Did he watch the fight of the weekend? Did he watch Fury Wild, of course? I'd, yeah, I mean, I tipped Tyson to win. Um, he did great. Um, he's a great fighter um, and, you know, brilliant for him. He's, he's achieved so much in his life for his family. And, you know, brilliant, fantastic, really pleased for him. And uh, I thought he beat Wilder and he did. And, but, you know, he, he was always going to beat Wilder. It looks like Wilder is looking for the rematch again and, and speaking about drinking that today. A lot of talk though about everyone wanting AJ to fight Fury next. Could that be an option? Would you yeah, want I mean, AJ I mean, to fight him next? It's the, it's the sport of boxing and all the best should always fight the best. And, you know, that's, that's logical. Um, I think, uh, you know, Big Josh has got Pulev June the 20th. I think Tyson's, uh, Wilder's 
going to trigger the rematch clause. Um, so I think Tyson's got a, another fight with Wilder by the look of it. But without a doubt, you know, it's fascinating. We look, it's brilliant. We've got, you know, two heavyweight champions that rule in the world in, in, in heavyweight boxing. You know, how could, when could you ever say that? In my lifetime, you never could at heavyweight boxing. So I think, you know, Big Josh, Tyson Fury have done fantastically well. You know, tremendous fighters. And what they've achieved is, is remarkable in, the, in both their lives and in, the, and in their sporting careers. It's fantastic for Britain and fantastic when they box each other because they will do it down the line. You definitely think that could happen? Without a doubt, it, the, the, it, it has to happen. But it um, is looking like Pulev next. Well, I presume because that's, that's what's happening. I presume that Wilder will trigger the rematch clause. Mm -hmm. I'd be amazed if he didn't. But um, yeah, the, the best fight and the best is, is what the world wants to see in any, any sport. And, you know, certainly they're the two best heavyweights in the world, in my opinion, right now. But I, I've seen somebody on the weekend saying that Josh wasn't even in the top three, so there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's got an opinion, Rob. Yeah, yeah. Brilliant, thank you. Thank you. Cheers.